Thank you. All right. So we have a brand new CD out. We have two brand new CDs. One's a Christmas CD and one is not. It's called Winds of Sargilan. And uh, this is a song from that CD. And the story behind this one is that um, after a month and a half of traveling through these different countries, I ended up um, needing to waste two days while I was in Turkey. So I didn't want to spend any time in Istanbul because I don't really like big cities. So I went to the Black Sea coast and spent two days on a deserted beach in a place called Kilios. And it was all deserted except for me and two cows. So I'm playing on the beach as I do. And these two cows heard it and they started coming down the hill and they have big horns. And I don't, I, you know, I, don't, I don't know any cows, so I don't know if they're nice or how cows are, you know. Probably and so I thought, this is, this is the end for me. I'll be trampled or ripped to pieces by these cows. They heard the music they're in the, and it irritated them. So I, I thought on the good point is at least I'll go out like, you know, I'll be famous for like, the, that, that's the violinist that was mutilated by cattle. And then, you know, we'll start getting on the charts, you know. So there was a bright side. So I stood there and played as they came closer and closer. And then they just, they came up and they nudged me. And then they were licking my boots. And they were so cute. They were like puppies, really. I've never seen a cow act like this. And, you know, I've never met a cow before, but they were playing in the water on the beach. Anyways, since then, I, I have trouble eating beef. I feel guilty. Your boots were made out of leather. Yeah, I know. I, I still do eat beef, but I just feel guilty when I eat it. So, I don't know if that's any consol consolation for that, but... Does that make me like a, a wannabe vegetarian? You're on the right path, yeah. It's I'm on the path. Yeah. The first step is to feel guilty. <laughs> I keep eating it. Wow, I feel guilty. Give me mmm, it's delicious. But I feel so guilty. <laughs> Anyways, the, the cool thing about this is that is the I was on the beach with the cows and they were doing their mmm, mooing thing. And uh, I wrote the song around their voice in the same pitch, and this is the pitch, exact pitch of the voice of the cows of Kilios. <laughs> yeah, so this one is a, it's kind of a, a Turkish rhythm because I was in Turkey, and um, this, here it is, it's cows of Kilios we call this one.
Ahem. That's always awkward when we finish that for a moment. Okay, another song from our brand new CD. This one was written in Romania. I went to Romania to find the gypsies because I love Romanian gypsy music. And I wanted to meet them and learn like where did this music come from and exactly how to play it. So I found all these gypsies everywhere as I got lost on the back roads in Transylvania. And, uh, but none of them would say musicians. I'm like, no, we don't have musicians here. I think they were holding out on me. It's like, we will not give our music to this stinking white boy. I think that's what they were thinking. They will steal our music and make it famous, just like Paul Simon did with Graceland. <laughs> Anyways, so in my despair, I went out into a field behind some gypsy wagons, and I started composing. But the birds in Romania are just, they're so noisy. I'm trying to compose this beautiful piece, and they're all chirping like crazy. I'm like yelling at the tree, shut up! But they kept chirping, so now my piece sounds like birds. But it does also sound like Romanian gypsy music. So I'm thinking that the Romanian gypsies got their music from the birds. So I may have learned from the exact source. Here we go. This, and on top of all that, this is our fastest piece, by the way. Per measure, we've got 47 uh, notes per measure, and this is our fastest. Not only our fastest, it's our faster by, fastest by three times, right? Yeah, we have a, a speedometer that we check our our notes with to see exactly how fast they go. Anyways, that's what you have to look forward to. <clears throat>
That's why I have tendinitis. <laughs> All right, we're gonna play a song uh, from our new Christmas CD now. This is a song I'm sure you'll recognize, and you probably only hear this song on the occasion of New Year's Eve here. But in Scotland, you hear it at any occasion. And we're bringing you the Scottish version, including Gaelic lyrics and parts. And uh, this one is called Uld Lang Syne.
very much. I'm going to play a little Irish music for you now.
that was Eric Zhang, everybody. This next song is a Ukrainian folk tune, and uh, Tyler Mount here is going to start it out for us.
Thank you very much. Who knew that was a Ukrainian folk tune, huh? Interesting how, you know, for the holiday, for the sake of holidays, we plagiarize. It's not really plagiarism, it's more like just borrowing. We'll give it back when we're done, right? Also, Green Sleeves, that was originally, uh, uh, supposedly written by King Henry VIII, but it was like a song of heartache, heartbreak. Love lost, love gone bad. That's an original concept, huh? And now it's a Christmas song. All right, we're gonna finish off with the song. If you celebrate Hanukkah, maybe, maybe this will hit, hit home.